is the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 11, and it reads the Holy Scriptures from the Blue Letter Bible, KJV, are the Holy Scriptures, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day, the Lord shall set his hand again, the second time, to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Paphos, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shardar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching word truthfully and sincerely as well too. And I say Shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. And the title of the lesson is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11 through verse 13. And I'm going to start at verse 11 once again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Paphos and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. Right. And these are the areas where we what we've been scattered at. And then the Heavenly Father is going to come back to say the remnant, you know, the remnant of his uh, people which we've been scattered through the four winds of the globe. What is the children of Israel, the northern kingdom, and the southern kingdom, which is us, you know, because we represent the children of Israel. We are the sons and daughters of the Most High, you know. And this is uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12, and it reads to the Holy Scriptures. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah and from the four corners of the globe I mean four corners of the earth right the dispersed of Judah through the four winds of the globe and that's the uh, top southern kingdom which is from the tribe of Judah and this is uh, Isaiah chapter 11 verse 13 and it reads the envy also of Ephraim shall depart and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off Ephraim shall not envy Judah and Judah shall now vex Ephraim Right, right, Ephraim should not vex Judah, and Judah should not vex Ephraim. And these are the top tribes from the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. So that envy and division is going to separate from us, and then we're going to come back together as a nation, you know. The northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, we you know we're all going to come back as one nation, you know, of the 12 tribes of Israel from the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. They're all going to come back together, you know be back as that one stick, you know, of the 12 tribes of Israel, like how it's supposed to, you know. But the Heavenly Father is going to come back to save a remnant of his uh, people, one-third of his remnant. And out of one of we be of that remnant, you know. For men, women, and children, you know, that's what we are continuing to uh, pray for, out of one of you know, Lord willing. But with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of a... Uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11 through verse 13. And hopefully this was a uh, sit down lesson like I mentioned before. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, or Karkatash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the uh, Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And the Heavenly Father's true name is uh, Yahweh of Israel, God of Israel, uh, which is Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, uh, true name in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash of the uh, Holy Tongue. And the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Bahashem, which is in the name of Hamashiach Abishai. That's the Heavenly Father's true name. Only his only begotten son's true name, Yahweh Shai, and the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. And those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue. So, with that, I would like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bahashem Akar Kadash. And until next time, I will say Shalom.